organizations involved in high-tech research into uh, transhumanism, into, into space technology and, and um, all that whole area of uh, cutting-edge research, at least cutting-edge in the public arena. And um, I've, I've come here to the Singularity University because it, it sounds kind of nondescript and uh, nothing of, of, of great importance to humanity, but it is. Because among the people who created this um, Singularity University uh, is Ray Kurzweil, um, one of the great... PR men for Frankenstein and the transhumanist nightmare. And the whole agenda is for um, humanity to have technology put inside the body, inside the brain, um, nanotechnology in the end, uh, which you can even breathe in, we call it smart dust and nanobots and various other names and that this technology will connect the human mind to what I've been writing about for years and called the technological sub-reality but the people like Kurzweil who set up this Singularity University um, with others uh, they call this technological sub-reality the cloud and they say that um, humans will be connected to the cloud by 2030, which is no time from now, really. Uh, and or at least it will start then. And that we will then, this is Kurzweil's words, we will then um, think from the cloud there'll be, uh, as he puts it, gateways in the cloud to our brains. And more and more, as, as the time passes, you will have a situation where um, the cloud, he says, will do more and more of human thinking until it does human thinking in its entirety. So what we're looking at behind this uh, whole agenda is the complete hijacking of the human conscious mind and uh, immediate subconscious mind by those that control the cloud uh, and that will be um, artificial intelligence uh, which will of course uh, have the agenda that um, it is programmed or it it chooses to have if you go really deep into this uh, nature of what AI really is and they're being open about it because they're trying to sell it as making uh, people superhuman uh, we are seeing this constant uh, sales pitch that by uh, being connected to this uh, cloud this Wi-Fi sub-reality technological cloud um, we will be able to do things and understand things that um, the human mind cannot and in fact the the whole term singularity refers to a, a point where uh, artificial intelligence becomes uh, greater in uh, uh, thinking uh, potential uh, than human uh, consciousness, human, uh, the human conscious mind. And so what they're saying is, connect your brain, your mind, to this technological cloud and you will be superhuman. You will be able to think like the machines can, like the AI can. Uh, of course, it's complete nonsense because the opposite is the case. It's not about um, making people superhuman. It's about making them subhuman. It's about the end of humanity as we know it uh, in terms of anything 
even approaching free thought and um, free perception because perceptions will be coming from the cloud to the conscious mind and the conscious mind will think I'm having a thought I'm going to do this I agree with that I'm going to support that I'm going to oppose that I believe this but actually it won't be the human mind reaching those conclusions it will be impulses from the cloud that is the entire agenda of this transhumanist uh, 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 nightmare which is unfolding around us and which the singularity university here is pushing and pushing and pushing and Kurzweil and, and co are pushing and pushing and pushing uh, the 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 complete takeover of human thought and through that human uh, emotion and what is happening is we're being taken down that road step by step uh, in a very coordinated way, which appears random uh, to most people. And it goes like this. First, you get people uh, addicted to technology they can hold. Let's call it holdables. The smartphones, the, um, the, the tablets, etc. And, of course, look around you in any group of people anywhere in the world. Uh, look at so many young people when you see them in groups. And the rest of the world doesn't exist much of the time. Only the, um, the screen of the smartphone exists. As the human mind becomes more and more attached in terms of uh, focus and focus of attention upon, um, in effect, an expression of the cloud. And then the next stage, and we're well into that, uh, has been to get technology on the body, because that's, um, of course, the next step to getting in the body. And so we have this term now, wearables. These are your smart watches, your Bluetooth, your Google Glass, etc. So get the technology now out of the hand and onto the body in a, in a, in a way where you actually wear it. Um, uh, through the day and what we're already seeing uh, is the next stage and the stage they've been manipulating humanity into from the start and that is implantables where um, technology is put inside the body and this is the technology that is designed to be uh, connected to the cloud and thus take over human uh, thinking so um, in this NASA research park, um, so much will be going on, on so many levels, in so many technological areas, um, to advance this agenda of the technological control of the human mind. Uh, whether it's the Singularity University here pushing this transhumanist uh, uh, um, nightmare, or whether it's putting... Um, satellites up to um, beam uh, Wi-Fi to the entire planet because of course if you're going to um, if you're going to connect everyone to this cloud this technological um, subconscious mind is what they plan it to be for humanity then you have to have Wi-Fi everywhere and um, and that is what is happening and names that are connected to this, people might not think of. Google's a search engine, right? Google's there to help you find what you want on the internet. Well, actually, it's more than that. Facebook, all these are just down the road from here in Silicon Valley. Facebook uh, is uh, just a way of keeping up with your friends and, 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 and sharing your information and what's happening to you, right? No, it's much more than that. So um, this is the Singularity University. Now let's have a look at Google. So here we are just uh, a few miles down the freeway at uh, Google in Silicon Valley. And it's kind of appropriate how close it was to 
that uh, NASA research area and the Singularity University. Because, as I was saying, people think of Google primarily as a search engine on the internet, which first of all gives it enormous power because of its domination of uh, the search engine arena. Because through algorithm codes and other technology and methods, uh, they can uh, manipulate the uh, stories that appear most prominently on their search engine lists. So, for instance, it's possible to uh, favor uh, a candidate in a presidential election. And it's, there's been a number of stories around the uh, Internet in the, uh, the current election campaign between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump suggesting that uh, their research tells them that uh, Hillary Clinton has been uh, emphasized and bad things about Hillary Clinton have been suppressed in terms of their uh, uh, the ability to find them uh, on uh, Google. Uh, so the potential is there to manipulate information by its domination of the search engine uh, potential of people going on the internet. But it's far more than that because Google is one of the prime drivers of this transhumanist agenda in league with an, an organization that it works very uh, closely with called DARPA. And DARPA is the technological development arm of the Pentagon. This is the organization, one of the most sinister on earth, that develops things like death rays and ever more effective ways of killing people and controlling people with surveillance technology and mind manipulation uh, technology. And this combination of uh, DARPA and Google is um, at the forefront of pushing this transhumanist agenda um, articulated by people like Ray Kurzweil and his Singularity University and Ray Kurzweil just happens to be uh, an executive of Google. Uh, he is called their chief futurist or um, something like that. And you then start to see explanations for what apparently are strange happenings. Uh, some years ago, a lady called Regina Duggan who was the uh, head and director of DARPA, suddenly um, made a strange career move on the face of it. She moved from DARPA and became an executive of Google. Uh, but when you do the research and you realize what's going on, you see that this apparently uh, strange um, career move from uh, the technological development arm of uh, the Pentagon to uh, a search engine organization was actually, uh, in effect, an interdepartmental transfer because Google um, are fundamentally involved in so many areas in this transhumanist uh, agenda. They, for instance, took over a company called Boston Dynamics, uh, which is uh, one of the um, the, the, the prime organizations, a uh, very prominent organization in the development of machines and robots controlled by artificial intelligence. And uh, they are under contract to DARPA. Uh, and this combination is uh, extremely important to understand in relation to this agenda for the control of the human mind by attaching the uh, human mind to uh, a technological sub-reality, this cloud uh, that they uh, talk about. And also what's being developed is a uh, robot army. I've been talking for years about the fact that uh, the idea was to create a world army uh, to impose the will of a world government. But uh, it's actually uh, one step further than that uh, in terms of what I'm talking about here, because in the end, they don't want that to be an army of humans, 
but an army of machines controlled by artificial intelligence, where artificial intelligence is making decisions on who to kill and, 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 and who not to kill and who to bomb and who not to bomb. Um, and this is not me surmising and pulling it out of the ether. Um, you're seeing this in news headlines now as these technologies um, come to light um, that are uh, high-tech, uh, cutting-edge military technologies controlled by uh, artificial uh, intelligence. And of course, in Dallas uh, a few months ago, we had the first um, killing by a robot when um, a, a robot uh, killed a, um, uh, someone who was uh, claimed to have been uh, uh, shooting at uh, police. So we are now in a, in a world, an arena of sci-fi and science fiction uh, is supposed to be a projection into the future uh, coming from the imagination but actually science fiction is now science fact and it's all around us and it's being driven by organizations like the Singularity University and by Google and what Google have done in recent times is changed the name of much of their company to Alphabet as a reason for that I would strongly suggest the the areas that Google um, is involved in all these areas I'm talking about and more is vastly 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 beyond just the search engine that people know about and Google has become such a buzzword that when people see it or hear it it registers with them so it's like they want to avoid the situation that was that was gathering where they said um, uh, uh, Google's into this transhumanist agenda it's doing this what Google's doing that and Google's doing that. what what Google is that Google Google's doing that because the word is so um, known to people you can't hide it so what they've done is changed the name of much of the company to this nondescript easily forgotten uh, in the vast majority of minds, completely unconnected to Google, uh, this uh, name Alphabet. So Alphabet are doing this and Alphabet are doing that. Well, it was Alphabet. This is why it's being done. And uh, we need to watch people like Kurzweil, the Singularity University, the transhumanist agenda, and uh, organizations like Google, like a hawk, um, you know, with a telescope. Because we... Um, are being manipulated into literally giving our minds away to technology controlled by artificial intelligence and then the question comes which is what I talk about in my events uh, around the world among many other things what is this artificial intelligence who is asking that question artificial intelligence is going to control this it's controlling that it's controlling that so what is it? I think when you look at that question and see what artificial intelligence really is, you realize that um, it's more than just technology. So here we are, again, just a few miles down the road from Google and the Singularity University. I've got to shout a little bit, I think, because we're right next to a main road. Which in, um, which in Build Up America is very, very easy to be alongside. They're everywhere. Uh, so, Facebook. Ah, oh, the T-shirt. Cool, man. I'm one of you. Uh, Facebook, of course, is uh, just a social media platform. That's all it is. Nothing to worry about. Uh, except that it's uh, more than that. And let's start off with its increasing censorship. You know, it's, when you're building... Uh, a communication platform, a communication network uh, where you are trawling people's private lives because they are telling you themselves what their private lives are. And when you are building a, a network of information communication all around the world, well, you uh, seem at first like the good guy. So here's the T-shirt. Hey man, cool, I'm one of you. But then when you get um, big enough 
and you think powerful enough, then you start to manifest what you were really created and developed for. And that is to be not a vehicle for free flow communication of information, but to uh, dictate what can and cannot be heard. So what we're seeing more and more with these, uh, these giants of the internet, uh, not just Facebook, but organizations like YouTube, which of course is owned by Google, is more and more censorship of information that is challenging the official version of everything, that is exposing that what we're being told through the mainstream media is simply an illusion, a pack of uh, diversary uh, lies and half-truths to stop us seeing what's really going on. And so, um, in terms of uh, YouTube, what's uh, appearing more and more uh, to people who are within what's called the alternative media is that uh, videos that they put on YouTube that were previously what they call monetized, you could uh, get advertising money from them. Now they are demonetizing uh, videos that are in almost any way often challenging the official version of uh, anything, particularly uh, seriously challenging the official version of government and military and wars and, and terrorist attacks, because they know that so many in the alternative media um, get their ability to function financially from monetization of videos. So that's um, a very targeted effort to um, to, to, to break down the alternative media and make it more difficult to function. Then you come to Facebook, and I know all about this myself, because uh, so often you'll post things that question or challenge the system that are uh, actually often quite mild, uh, but they still get taken down. And you get uh, banned for a week, or in some cases, for some people, banned for a month, in some cases, banned altogether for posting things that people have a right to see and hear. But because uh, Facebook um, has got uh, so, so massive, so powerful, it thinks it can now start to strut uh, around and, and dictate what people uh, can and cannot hear. And for me, you know, no one will ever convince me that the T-shirt, Mark Zuckerberg runs this place. No way in the world fronts it up, but ultimately, um, that's not where the real power is because when you research this and you go deep enough into it you find that these uh, internet giants like uh, Google and Facebook and so many others uh, YouTube of course because it's controlled by Google that actually they answer to the same masters they're part of the same web so we're standing here and this is a series of pretty nondescript buildings called Facebook but that's a strand in the web and the web is what dictates ultimately the direction and the uh, behavior uh, of Facebook and then there's another strand in the web here and it's called Google but ultimately it's the web that dictates the direction and behavior of Google um, and so what you're looking at are different masks if you like on the same face, different strands in the same web, and it's that force at the center of the web, the spider if you like, that's actually uh, driving this agenda through all these different um, uh, strands and aspects of the, uh, of, the, of the web. So this censorship that's going on um, in all these different uh, internet uh, platforms and uh, expressions is actually not uh, someone's decided here, someone's decided there, it's actually coordinated through the web. It's always going to be like that. Uh, and if you then um, take another look at Facebook from the transhumanist point of view, what I was saying over at the Singularity University in Google is that um, we have this transhumanist agenda to attach the human conscious and and subconscious uh, mind uh, to uh, the cloud, what Ray Kurzweil calls the cloud. 
and therefore the cloud, a technological, artificial intelligence generated sub-reality, would do more and more of human thinking until it was doing the totality of human thinking. They're openly saying this now. Um, and Facebook is involved in that. As I've mentioned, if you're going to have everyone attached to a Wi-Fi based global cloud, then that has to be, uh, uh, it has to, what has to be created is a Wi-Fi cloud that um, no one can get away from. A Wi-Fi uh, technology that covers every inch of the planet. And that's what is happening. Satellites are going up there. Again, you know, all your, your SpaceX and all these other organizations and NASA uh, and, uh, and DARPA, they're all connected uh, and controlled by this web, pushing the world in a certain direction. And so um, you'll remember that uh, a few weeks ago, there was a, a rocket exploded at Cape Canaveral. And it was a rocket being uh, uh, tested and prepared uh, by this organization, uh, SpaceX, which is um, headed by this guy, Elon Musk. And he um, uh, has uh, been, again, one of the people who has said we must get technology insiders to attach us to this uh, cloud, because if we don't, then we won't keep up with the machines, we won't keep up with the uh, artificial intelligence. So that's just another little way of saying and uh, providing an excuse and a reason to get people attached technologically to this cloud. But that rocket exploded uh, before it was due to send up a satellite from Facebook that was uh, planned to bathe the entirety of Africa in Wi-Fi. And this is what these uh, satellites are doing, uh, being sent up. It's to bathe the entire planet in Wi-Fi, to, to bathe the entire planet in the cloud, which they want through this transhumanist agenda to attach human minds to. And uh, so this is what's unfolding before our eyes. And just, just moving around this Silicon Valley from place to place, by American terms, everything very close to each other, you're in the epicenter of where this whole agenda is being driven from. And we need to become aware of it, because if we don't, we will go on walking, sleepwalking, into this transhumanist, the end of humans, the end of humanity as we know it, nightmare. It's time to wake up, and bloody fast.